Enemy team eliminated. Weapons down, Guardians. This fight's over. Send us to the lighthouse. Alright everyone, um... We're here to show you some craziness we found in the lighthouse that we'd like to share with you. So, this weekend, Burning Shrine, um... was the map, and... this was also the first weekend that Bird here has gone flawless. So, we were cruising around the lighthouse, you know, trying to explore the whole area, showing a couple of things that we found. We, um, actually did something pretty crazy. Um, we're about to show you, after, um, I show you a couple of places that I'd found around the lighthouse. Some of my favorite. Um, most of you already know the secret room with, uh, the dead bones and everything in it. You can look that one up really easily on YouTube. Uh, just, you know, look up lighthouse secret room and you'll find it but what I'm about to show you is something more in-depth and you're definitely not supposed to be there well this first place I'm gonna show you is definitely huh. you know just there I'm gonna shield my eyes my purple engram yeah so um the first place is just I'm pretty sure they intended it for me for it to be there but the other ones are definitely not. You're definitely not supposed to be there. The, the first place is just over here to the right. You're going to want to be equipping a max agility for this because it lets you jump quite a lot higher. Bird, get out of my way. Thank you. Storm callers also jump very fine, very high. Titans are out of luck. Yeah, Titans. Yeah, you're not going to do real well. So this is the first place. It's kind of just like a little... Reminds me of like a penthouse suite. You know, you got the light shining in through the window and stuff. This is just kind of a nice place to hang out. You know, nothing much, but... That is definitely not even the beginning of the craziness. So what you want to do... Gonna want to do is uh, come over here to the right. Over to where the ship is. You're gonna notice these two yellow barrels. Um, what about, um, this? About what? That doesn't, that's not much, that's not really anything. If you come over here, and you just, uh, jump up here, you can jump onto this little railing. Which I guess is kind of nice. You can <laughs> surprise your friends as they come through. And you can go over here, okay. Yeah, there's nothing really much else to that. All these top anyway, things. as I was saying, if you come over here, you'll notice these two yellow barrels. <clears throat> this is the key to the out of the map craziness we were doing. So you're gonna want to like jump onto the middle. The, you can also Got jump it. on a friend's head to get up there, but this is easier for solo. I am not very good at it as of right now. There's a middle invisible wall I recorded between my these two. game clip of getting up there. Yeah, there's a little Ow. invisible wall that you're going to want to hop on to get up here. Watch Just her watch do it if you can get it. Mm. I can get it any quicker. It's kind of annoyingly hard to get. I might just edit this part out or something because it can be incredibly frustrating to get up onto these. Ooh, there we go. Alright, so, as you can see, I'm up on these Wait. barrels, and I can see quite a lot of this area. So what Wait. you're gonna... Hold on. Then you can jump... You're gonna want to jump onto this rock over here. Barely made that. I was afraid I was gonna fall. Yeah. Like that. Um, so, 
as you can see, we are definitely not supposed to be here. There are invisible walls everywhere, and it's pretty pretty hard to move around. The first place is kind of just in here. You're inside this you little can do it wall. Me. Uh, sorry, bird. Just hurry up. Um, and, you know, we're walking around. You got a lot of the area. You know, you got walls zooming in and out of focus and everything. It's pretty crazy. So you just come back underneath this wall and keep going. I'll just sit no, wait. here. We're going to... Okay. Sorry, bird. No, you can make it. Yeah, see? Just don't miss that jump. There you go. Alright. The next place we're going to be going to is... You just need to come across this rocky area over here. Mind the vex gate. Do not get pushed off through that. <laughs> not your lucky day for parkour, bird. And... One. Can I have a... Okay. And... If you fall down there, we're, we'll go to that next, because I'm probably going to die if I go down there. But we have some pretty funny clips of uh, going down these places. And as you can see, we're above that area that we were, we were at before. I'm sure there are more places that you can get to and everything, but this is just what I've seen so far. And there's a lot of holes around that you can fall in if you want to or you're not careful. Now, there's this area over here uh, that leads toward the beginning part. Now, as you can see, I cannot fit through there. I can try, but it's not going to let me. I'm sure sooner or later, somebody will figure out how to get through there, but as of right now, I have not. Um, and then, we're currently trying to see if we can find a way behind this Vex gate. See that area over there that they put behind the gate. But as All of right beautiful, now... beautiful, beautiful coding. As of right now, we have not found a way because there are invisible walls everywhere. But anyway, so the next place where we visit is down here in this area. Actually, I'm going to show you this over here first because the last time we went down there, we had to reset the lighthouse because we could not get out. It sent our spawn location down there. But so the next place is kind of down here. It just comes in this little gap. And we're on the other side of that wall. They do not really guard. They don't They don't make these uh, walls solid. But so the next place is down this area. This is really fun. We kind of just dropped off the map and notice this. Um, where is it? Hold up. Oh, here we go. So, you're going to want to crouch. Uh, um. <laughs> how do we get that on there? Well, we were able to fall down there last time. But, apparently <laughs> not this time. It's a good thing there is another uh, area we can do this at. Bird, I'll show you how to get out. Just crouch. Onto this little block and then jump out. You have to jump to the right and out. Just get out of my way. <laughs> Please. Alright, there we go. To the right and out. Come on, you can do it. I got it. Yes, alright. Yeah. Alright. So, we're going to come over here and we're going to show you the last part of our little adventure in the out-of-the-map area. So, you're going to want to jump all the way down here. <laughs> Luckily, we did not die. Um, I mean, maybe if you hit the wrong spot. Bird, where are you going? Off two other things. Come on. Bird. Not yet. Bird. Go have fun. Come on. You gotta explore with me. Apparently I didn't have to before. You are Boots and I am Dora. Fuck off. Get down here, you little freaking... chimp. You hurt, hurt my feelings. I'll give you a banana. 
Mm-hmm. Here you type. Peanut butter? Winston reference? Not really. Anyway. Um, you know, we got these areas. We explored them. Unfortunately, there is no way you can get back to the front. You can see this little wisp of smoke. That's from the, uh, earlier area with the candles oh, wait a minute. from... The, what? There's an invisible ceiling. And? You can walk on it. And? Leads to fun times ahead. Anyways, as I was going to show you, there's this area that is very similar to the area we were at before, where we could not get down. This is what it pretty much happened as. So you'll see that there is this slope, but it doesn't uh, knock you down yet. It's kind of like a bungee cord. It's really, really fun to watch your friends die on it. See? You'll slide back and forth. And slide again. And slide again. And then you can jump to keep yourself from dying. And it kind of like, it's like there's an invisible net. It's you're just pinned against the wall, figuratively speaking. I think that is the area we were at before, right there. But, hold on, let me see if I can get over there. <laughs> Come on. No, it's not like I'm going to be able to get up there right now. But what's fun is what happens when you die. Is your body will slide all the way down. Which is incredibly fun to watch. But I think maybe if I slide and use the momentum of my slide. Ah, come on. Come on. Oh, oh. Oh, damn, I'm so close. I think I could possibly get underneath that. Up from... Mm, no, come on, let me jump. Ugh, no avail. But anyway, guys, there's one more thing I want to show you before um, I end this little tour. Uh, if you come down here, there's an invisible wall, so you can, can't go that way. But if you come over here, there's this last area. Which is incredibly buggy, like there's things uh, disappearing all the time. But, um, if you come down here, this is really, really cool that I noticed. If you look up through this little hole, you'll notice that it looks like a starry sky. Like a nighttime sky. If you look up, it's like got little stars in the sky. It's like a clear night sky of the country. And you got all these little shimmering little lights. It honestly looks like the night sky. And, you know, there's these rocks in the way, which are kind of annoying. But it it bewilders me how alike that looks. And it's even got, like, a little nebula-looking thing up there. It might just be something from a different part of the map, but that is really cool looking. And then there's this... uh curved piece of metal down here that we've been trying to get to but as you can see you can't really make it you can get close but it's not going to let you but anyway guys that about uh, wraps up our tour um, I, you guys can go flawless and go try this out yourself but uh, I wanted to film this because we lose this in a couple of days thanks to the weekly reset and um, I'm not incredible at PvP I'm pretty good but I'm not really that great uh, I can only go flawless so many times to try this out, so I wanted to get the footage out there while I could. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.